everyone, how are you today? So this is going to be part three of my cloth pad stash video series. These are all of my overnight pads. All of these pads were made by me, and if I have any links to the patterns that I use, I will leave them in the description box below. So let's get started. These first three pads here are all the same pattern. They are, I believe it's pronounced Asali. Last time I looked them up for one of my other videos, I wasn't able to find the link to the pattern. Um, all I was able to find was a website and nothing really came up for me, but I will still link that down below just in case you might have a little bit more luck than I do. This first pad is a flannel top. It has a PUL back and it has a flannel core. This pad is a cotton top with a PUL back and a flannel core. And this one is also a cotton top with a PUL back and a flannel core. These are all in my overnight stash. I'll use these during my lighter days of my period, like towards the end of my period. But I do really prefer these on my heavy days when I need the length, but they're kind of versatile either way and I keep them in with my overnights. These next three pads are all of the same pattern as well. They are the 13 inch Amy Nix pattern from her group. They have the moderate flare top. And just for comparison, I do have here the pattern for the narrow flare top. So there's a little bit of a comparison for you if that helps you make a decision of whether you want to use the moderate or the narrow flare top. I will also leave a link to her channel in the description box below and from there you'll be able to navigate to her group. This one has a cotton top. It has a PUL back and the core is flannel. This one also has a cotton top with a PUL back and the core is flannel. These two pads came from a pack of fat quarters. Um, there was this, cot this candy corn, these acorns, and then a pumpkin print. Um, but I didn't have enough of the pumpkin print to make a long one like this. And then this one is also a cotton top, PUL back, and it has flannel in the core as well. These two are the same pattern. They are the 15 inch postpartum pad that's part of the SLE pattern pack. This one has a cotton top, this yellow blizzard fleece back, and the core is a flannel as well. This one is a cotton top with a PUL back, and it has a flannel core. And just for comparison between the 13 and the 15 inch patterns, there's that for you. And then last but not least, this is the 18 inch Montress pattern from Dreamline Design. I will leave the link to the pattern from the Etsy shop down below. This one is a cotton top, blizzard fleece back, and it has flannel in the core. This one is so big that it doesn't even fit in the frame, but it is exceptionally comfortable so just as a reference for you this is a 13 inch pad and then a 15 inch pad I have nine so far in my overnight sash I am working on sewing some more so when I have any additions I will make sure to uh, make an updated video for you so that way that's available for you. I hope that this was helpful especially if you need help deciding between some overnight pad patterns, a little bit of idea for comparing the lengths of things. 
So if you need them for overnight or postpartum or something like that, that will hopefully be helpful for those who need it. If you'd like, you can hit the subscribe button down below. That'll notify you whenever I upload another video and it'll notify you when I add the next installment of my cloth pad stash video. I would also appreciate it if you would give the video a like, that really helps me. And I definitely appreciate you coming and spending a little bit of time with me today. I de definitely enjoyed having you here and you enjoy the rest of your day, okay?